Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to quickly unbox my latest influencer Vox box. This one is the Bloom Vox box. I just got it in the mail the other day, so I'm really excited to go through it with you. And I saw a lot of my beauty YouTuber friends on Instagram got this one too. So this one seemed to be pretty popular. A lot of people got it and there are some really good stuff in here. And in case you're not familiar with influencer, it's an awesome program. I've been a member for about three years now. I will have some information down below in case you want to go and sign up yourself. But basically it's a company and they send you free stuff. You do have to qualify for the different boxes they send out based on your interests, based on how many people are in your family, your age, and probably your social media score a little bit as well. You don't have to have a huge following on social media to qualify for the boxes, but they do require you to have a Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, um, and YouTube is just a bonus. But if you do have one, then you can definitely make videos and you do get points for it. Like I said, I've been a member for a while now, and I've gotten some really awesome stuff through Influencer. It's a really fun program. It's totally legit, so you don't have to worry about that, um, and there will be some information in the description box in case you're interested. So again, the Vox box that I got this time was called the Bloom Box, and now let's go through everything that came in it. Sometimes the Vox boxes are brand specific, like earlier this year I got a whole bunch of L'Oreal stuff, um, but this one is just a whole mismatch of different kind of products. There's no really rhyme or reason to it, um, but yeah, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that I got was actually a granola bar, and I completely forgot that I had wanted to make this video, so I ate it already, um, but I did save the wrapper so you can see what it looked like. Um, this is from Sunbelt Bakery. This is one of their chocolate chip chewy granola granola bars. I used to eat these things all the time in college, specifically my freshman year of college. I just remember buying these all the time at Walmart or Walgreens. These things are just so delicious. They're not very healthy for you, but the other day I was craving something sweet, so I uh, pulled this out and just really, really enjoyed it. These things are delicious. Um, it was really nostalgic for me too because it has been a long time since I had eaten one of these but they're absolutely delicious. Um, unfortunately, I can't show you what the actual bar looked like, but it's a granola bar, so I'm sure you know what that looks like. And I think these things are pretty popular all over the country. Um, but yeah, they're absolutely delicious. I really enjoyed this the other day. All right, now moving on to the rest of the box, it's all kind of beauty related and I haven't opened anything. Um, though this thing I have tried, this is from Cutex. It is the Advanced Revival Nail Polish Remover Pads. I got these, I think, in a Target beauty box last year and honestly, I was not impressed. I thought these did a terrible job at removing my nail polish. I was really disappointed because on here it says that one pad will clean all 10 nails. I definitely did not find that to be the case. I thought I needed, I think what it comes in here, three pads. I think I needed at least two of them to get all 10 nails which isn't that bad. Um, it maybe even was three. I don't remember. They just definitely did not work as well as I thought that they should. Um, they dried out really fast from what I remember. Um, so I would definitely would not use these again, um, or I definitely wouldn't purchase them again. I probably will use this pack just because I have it. Um, but I was not impressed the first time I used it. Maybe this is a different formula. Who knows? And maybe I'll be impressed this time around. But uh, from what I remember when I used it before, I wasn't too excited about them. So I'm not really excited about these again this time around. But um, it is what it is. Is, and I definitely will put them to the test again and maybe it'll be different this time. Next item in the box is for Secret Deodorant. This is their new Outlast Extend Technology Deodorant in Completely Clean. I love Secret Deodorant. It's really the only kind that I like. So I always use this kind, but I usually use the one that's clear um, and this one is white. So let's see how it goes on just, just to kind of see if it leaves any residue. I'll just kind of do it on my arm here. Oh, it is completely clear, which is nice. And it smells really good. It's just like got a typical clean, fresh kind of scent. Um, but I'm excited about this. I don't know um, what the Outlast version is compared to this new Outlast Extend. I don't know what the difference is. Um, but I definitely will give this a try. Hopefully it will work. Hopefully this won't transfer onto my clothes. That's another reason why I like that clear gel uh, versus something like a solid like this. Um, I know when I was working and I would have to wear a black shirt every day, like my armpits were just like white on those shirts that I had for work. That was kind of embarrassing because I don't think I realized that for a while. Um, but we will see with this. I, I don't obviously have to wear that uniform anymore, um, but we will see um, how much I like that. Now the next item in the box was a little confusing. I got a nail polish from Sinful Colors, which in and of itself is not confusing at all. This says that it's from the Bling It On collection and the color is called Teal Midnight. However, we got this little card in the box promoting the new Kylie Sinful Colors collection. Um, and then in here, it doesn't say exactly what you're going to be getting, but it says calling all jean queens, the denim trend, and there's the new Kylie collection called Denim and Bling. Um, so I guess that's what we were supposed to be getting. This is not from that collection. It kind of maybe looks like it will be because it's that blue color, but I looked it up and it is from a collection called Bling It On. So 
I don't know. I guess I can give you, I don't have anything on my nails right now, so let me give you a little swatch of this to show you what it looks like. That is what the color looks like. Hopefully it is picking up well enough on camera. It's very sheer. Um, I don't know that I'll get a whole lot of use out of this. Again, this is the color Teal Midnight. I think I would have preferred one of the Kylie colors. I actually have a couple of her colors from the other collection that she came out with. I know she's doing a bunch with sinful colors, um, and I have like a red that's so, so pretty, and I have a purpley kind of like iridescent color that's pretty as well. Um, this like super glittery one just isn't really my style. Uh, maybe it will be fun on my toes in the summer, but um, all in all, this isn't something I'm super excited about. However, I am very excited for the last two items in this box, and specifically this little guy right here. This is from the brand Nukes, I think is how you say it. Maybe it's Nux. Um, and this is their multi-purpose dry oil for face, body, and hair. I've been hearing about this brand for a while now, but I've never tried it before. I think you can get it at Target, though I could be wrong, but I think I've seen it there. And I don't think I've ever tried a dry oil either, so I'm really excited to test it out. So let's see here. Um, so it's just this tiny little jar. What is this, like a half an ounce or something? something uh, 0.33 ounces and I would assume that the full-size bottle um, has like a little dropper or something it's easier to pour out because I just don't want everything to go everywhere with this little sample but let's see here oh my gosh okay when they say dry oil they're not joking that like soaked in so fast holy cow that's really kind of cool oh my gosh it is like almost completely disappeared off my skin I cannot even feel it that is really crazy. And it has a really faint scent to it. I can't really tell what it is. Kind of smells like soap almost. And I think I say that about everything that I don't know what it is. That it smells like soap, but yeah, it kind of has that soapy smell almost, but it's really faint, so it's not like offensive or anything. Um, I am so excited to start using this. All right, now onto the very last product in the box. It is from the brand Not Your Mother's, and this is the Plump for Joy Thickening Hair Lifter. This sounds like it's an awesome product. I'm really excited for it. It says that it's for fine, thin hair, which I kind of have, but not really. Um, it says that it's going to volumize, strengthen, and add some luxurious shine. So let's go ahead and test it out here. Maybe, if I can get it to spray. There we go. Oh, it's a pretty concentrated spray. I was kind of thinking it was going to be a finer mist. I should probably not spray it directly into the back of that candle there, so let me go like this. Yeah, this is kind of weird. I'm sure my hair looks absolutely crazy right now. Let's try to fix it. It smells really good, too. Again, I don't know what it smells like, but it just has a nice, pleasant scent. My hair, again, probably looks like super crazy, and I don't know, whatever, whatever, I don't really care. But I think this definitely plumped up my hair, just like it says it's going to, so I'm really excited to play around with that. So that was everything that I got in the Bloom Vox box. Not everything was a total winner for me, like I wasn't super excited about these Q-Tex things, because I've gotten them before and I didn't really like them. Um, and then the nail polish is just okay for me, because I don't love the color. Um, but I'm super, super excited to try these two things, and um, of course I absolutely love that granola bar that I already ate. Links to all the products will be down below in the description box, along with some information about Influencer if you want to go sign up yourself. It's a really fun program. I've really enjoyed being a part of it. Um, so definitely check it out if that's something that you're interested in. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. We can also connect on Instagram. I post over there all the time and there will also be a link in the description box for that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!